now available in paperback and e-readers. John Haynes, Taking Care of Business. The man who rules the world breaks in a brand new partner to help him take care of business in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Taking Care of Business at paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. China is banning effeminate and soft males from its TV networks. Now, the Chinese government says it needs to ban these soft and effeminate males from their TV networks in order to promote a revolutionary culture that will promote Chinese manhood and Chinese masculinity. Now, when I take a critical examination of the Chinese government's decision to go out here and ban your soft and effeminate males from its TV networks, it looks like to me that the Chinese government is acknowledging that they're having a man crisis in their country. Now, this man crisis is something I have talked about in my book, The Man Crisis, due to the way we have raised boys in the world over the last 50 years. And it looks like to me that the Chinese government is acknowledging that this socially engineered soft male that came about in the 1960s, 50 years ago, is just not somebody that they can have in their civilization. Because after two to three generations of these beta males have been socially engineered, many of these men are just falling apart. Many of these men are extremely dysfunctional, and many of these men are participating in self-destructive behaviors like alcoholism, drug addiction, and many are committing suicide. And it is impossible for a nation to remain strong when you have two to three generations of beta males, and the Chinese government is acknowledging that they're not going to be able to remain competitive if they have a population filled with these soft males and a culture that promotes softness in men. Now, back in the 1960s and 1970s, as the feminist movement was revolutionizing the West and even the East, it looks like the, there was a social engineering of a so-called kinder, gentler, softer male. And the feminists and many politicians thought that with this socially engineered soft male, they would be able to build a utopia. And it looks like the Chinese government is acknowledging that this softer male is not going to be able to build any sort of utopia because your softer male has these feminine life skills and he has these feminine survival skills, so he is not equipped to go out here and maintain and build a civilization. No, your softer male, all he knows how to do is please women, and a man who is following the lead of a woman, what is going to happen to him and his culture is his culture is going to go into decline. And it looks like the Chinese government is realizing that a man is needed in order to build and maintain a strong civilization, and part of developing men is creating a culture that values men, values manhood, and values masculinity. And that is something we have not seen in the world for 50 years, as we have seen the world promote a gynocentric culture that elevates women, but devalues men. So what the Chinese government looks like it wants to do is it wants to change its culture to start valuing men. And this is one of the solutions I proposed in my book, The Man Crisis, as related to investing in men. Because in order for a civilization to remain strong, you must invest in your men. And one of the things that your Chinese government is trying to do to invest in its men is it's trying to create a culture that values manhood and masculinity. And part of that is creating a media platform that shows the value of manhood and men. Now, here in the West, we did have a media culture that promoted manhood and masculinity up until the late 60s and early 70s with the rise of the feminist movement. And before the feminist movement came into mainstream media, many TV shows 
like westerns and dramas and comedies oftentimes focused on the father and they focused on the man being the leader and in it in other shows that promoted things like police officers or trades and skills you oftentimes saw an older man teaching a younger man the business skills and life skills he would need in order to navigate his career for example on shows like Adam 12, Dragnet, Marcus Welby, MD, you would see an older seasoned professional teaching a younger man the skills he would need to be able to perform his job. And on shows like your Daniel Boone and many other shows, they often showed the father preparing the son in order to navigate the world. So the, the what they wanna do with their television in China is they wanna promote manhood, and masculinity and they want to promote the idea of men being strong men being leaders men have taking power and control and they want to show the man as the head of his family the man as head of his household and the man taking control over things because they have seen the long-term impact of the soft male on their society and they see that this soft male is just not somebody who can go out here and maintain the Chinese civilization because this soft male, his primary focus is chasing women, pleasing women, and being submissive to women. And a male who is submissive to women is not somebody who is prepared to do the hard work of a leader because again in order to build and maintain a civilization you need strong men and the Chinese government is realizing that they don't have a good population of extremely strong men and this is something that many in the West are not really thinking about because many in the West are not acknowledging the man crisis the way the Chinese are because they still are caught up in feminism and gynocentrism and they're still caught up in the idea that this soft sensitive male will lead to a better civilization and the Chinese government is now seeing that the softer male is not going to be able to build any sort of utopia because when you have a male who is too caught up in his emotions and too caught up in his feelings he cannot think critically or logically and he cannot think long term because he's only thinking in the short term about getting his emotional needs met but not thinking in the long term of taking care of the economic and financial needs of a nation so when you have soft males they are very dangerous and detrimental to society and that's what the Chinese government sees and when it comes down to your soft males a lot of these guys they're not equipped to function in life due to the feminine way they have been raised and because they've been raised so feminine a lot of these males they oftentimes instead of going out to become productive citizens what they wind up becoming are these guys who wind up living off females or they wind up becoming self-destructive males who are caught up in addictions like drugs and alcohol or they wind up getting so overwhelmed by life that they wind up committing suicide. So the Chinese government looks like it's taking steps to try to deal with this man crisis that has gone global. And it's, I, I look at it and it's like, finally, somebody is acknowledging the man crisis. Now, this is a communist country acknowledging that there is a man crisis going on, but I'm wondering when are people in the West finally going to start acknowledging that there is a man crisis going on and that the soft males we have raised and socially engineered are just not equipped to go out here and do the work that needs to be done in order to maintain a strong country. Because if we don't go out here and invest in our men, our nation of America will not be competitive because soft males do not like to compete soft males do not like to lead and soft males focus more on their feelings than working to think critically 
focusing on using logic and reason and going out here and focusing on the long term because they are looking for a woman to lead them in the short term. Unfortunately, females are not equipped to lead and I guess the Chinese government understands that females are not equipped to lead because they're looking at their civilization and they're realizing it's going on the wrong track because even with all of their so-called empowered women, what's happening is, is that their, their birth rates are going down, marriage rates are going down, and they're realizing that they don't have enough people to maintain the population and that the soft males are just not attractive to the females who are becoming what they call leftover women and many of the men are leaving the women alone because they don't have any sense of purpose because a soft male he's all about again pleasing the woman but not finding his purpose as a man so your Chinese government is looking like one of the first countries to acknowledge that they have to revolutionize their culture and that's part of investing in your men is creating a culture where manhood is valued manhood is appreciated excuse me and manhood is seen as an asset to the society because if you don't value your men you're not going to have anybody to build your civilization maintain your civilization or create new innovations if you don't have men in their role that God has established for them, then you're not going to have a civilization. So it's looking like to me, they're starting to see that there is a problem with the men in their society. But the biggest problem is, is that your communist China, it doesn't see God. And the whole thing is, if you want a civilization to work, you need God's natural order. Because in God's natural order, the man is seen as a steward and is held accountable and if he's not accountable to Jesus and the Most High, then you're not going to have a strong civilization because without that acknowledgement of that direct connection to God, you cannot find a way to establish things. But I will say again, this is China opening up its eyes to the man crisis, and I'm wishing that America would start to open up its eyes because we cannot have a civilization that will remain strong and competitive because soft males, whenever they get pressure put on them, the soft male is going to quit, the sensitive male is going to give up, and he's not going to persevere, because soft males, they are just not made to have that discipline and resolve to persevere in the face of adversity. And your China, again, is taking a first step towards moving forward by acknowledging the man crisis, and again, Banning these soft males from TV, it may seem extreme, but it's the only way to get your men on point because the media that they see and imbibe, this is what socializes these boys to, to be men and to learn models of manhood and masculinity. And when all you see are strong men and being out here, that makes you aspire to be a strong and masculine man and not some soft, effeminate male who just does nothing every day except be a burden to society. Now, if you want to learn why there are so many soft males across the globe, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis in Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more men's issues videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal and my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, read, and subscribe.